everybody, we're the Babes of Bourbon. I am Megan Rudder. And I am Eric Rudder. And today we are doing the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Um, we sure are. Not taste off. We're not blinding these or anything, but we're no. just uh, going to compare them. Um, it's the A121 and the C920. Correct. So, as promised, we said if we got a bottle of A121, we would do this video. Yeah. So, we got it. And, and the reason we're not going to do them blind, because we were talking about it, like, should we do them blind, should we not? The reason we're not is because we don't have any um, biases against either of the bottles. Mm -hmm. Like, we like them both separately. We enjoy Elijah Craig Barrel Proof very much. So, we won't have a problem saying, oh, we like this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we like this one. So, yeah, that's why we're not going to do it blind. Ooh. Should we get going? Yes, let's start with the A121. Okay. The Fuller bottle. <laughs> the Fuller bottle. Clearly we've had the C920 longer, which makes sense. Oh, did you want to talk about the lettering? Just in case people don't know. Yeah, um, so the A stands for um, the first batch of the year, and then they have B and C, so they normally do three, three batches a oh, year. Oh, sorry, I didn't pour this one for you. And then um, the one, the first one, so A and then one, stands for the month. Yeah, January. So, yep, January. And then, of course, on the 9, 20, mm -hmm. the 9 stands for the September. Mm -hmm. And then the last two digits are the year. Are the year. So, 20 yeah. is... So then, yeah. <laughs> so C920, the third batch, yep. bottled in September of 2020. I think the first Elijah Craig barrel proof we ever got was the B520. Yes. So second batch in May 2020. That one was good. We didn't think to save no. it. <laughs> and at that point, to be honest, we weren't ready for barrel proof. Yeah, that so was we, our first barrel proof bottle, yes, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And we drank a lot of it over ice, which... It, Looking it, yeah. back, that <laughs> breaks my heart. I don't remember doing that. Oh, forgive us. So, forgive us. <laughs> the first one we're going to, A121, is 123.6 okay. proof. Aren't they both? Or no? No, this one's a little bit higher at 132.8. Oh, that's interesting that they'll be different proofs. Yes. Well, that's good that they we're starting with the lower proof too because mm -hmm. they always like say that with tastings you kind of want to work your way up mm -hmm. okay let's do this thing Woo. so keeping an open mouth because this is a high proof so i'm getting that caramel but i'm almost getting like a fruit in here too that's interesting almost like a strawberry do you get any cinnamon? There is some baking spice in there yeah. too. I can see what you're saying with some like light berry scent on there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit. The nose is good. Like, I mean, we're just going to be honest. We love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's such a solid bottle. Mm -hmm. Priced appropriately. Yeah, the nose is very pleasant yeah. on this one. It's. A little bit sweeter, caramel. Yeah. I would say some fruity, and then those baking spices are in there too. Yeah. So it does like to me the nose isn't necessarily like the traditional bourbon nose, mm -hmm. but it it's close to it. Yeah. It's very close to being that like it's caramel, it's vanilla, it's oak, but this has a little something something in there mm -hmm. too with maybe a little bit of fruit, a little bit of baking spice. Um, yeah. Which is fun. I, I like noses like this that are just like slightly off mm -hmm. the norm. Should we go yeah, in? Yeah, I want to taste it. Let's, Let's get, get to sipping. Mm. It's my first mm. sip of bourbon of the night. It's a good sip. Mm -hmm. You're like, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good, but. Oh. So I am getting a lot of that caramel here with oak. Um, I think that fruit's coming through, but not as strong as it was on the nose. I have a tough time 
pulling out different flavors of Elijah Craig. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's because there is the high proof in it. I almost, this is why I'm questioning myself. I get the caramel, but I get like a little nutty profile. Mm -hmm. Do you get any nuttiness? Like there, it's not like a big, like, wow, this is peanuts or this is almond, but like, Almost like the nuts you get at like the fair, the ball game, like the pecans that are rolled in the sugar and they have that little like bit of sweetness, a little bit of cinnamon. There is a little bit of nutty profile yeah. there. It's not as predominant as some of the other ones we've had yeah. recently. I think that's why I didn't call it out. But if you really focus on it, I do think there is a little bit of the nuttiness there. And I think in general, my palate like acclimates to nutty profiles pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Like Eric will get more of like floral or sometimes honey out of things and I get more of nuttiness. I don't know if that is me not knowing what um, pecans <laughs> and almonds and all those things taste like, even though I do. <laughs> I didn't want to say, I don't know what nuts taste like. <laughs> Cause that's inappropriate for this PG rated YouTube channel. But yeah, all right. that's my joke. Nice one. How do you like the finish? <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. How do you like the finish? <laughs> finish is good. Finish is good? Yeah. That's great. You gotta go there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's long lasting. It's warm right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me take a sip. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I do like, I find the finish pleasant. It's warm, the flavor mm -hmm. sticks around in your mouth, but it's not overwhelming. It's not burning, mm -hmm. like sometimes whiskey and bourbon will do. I almost get that fruity finish. I do almost you? start getting strawberries again. What's with the fruit? I don't know. Oh, they want the fruit, man. I like strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I have to like pay more attention to it because I'm not getting it. It's not like a overwhelming, like I'm eating a strawberry. But like a hint. Yes. Hint of strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I can see where you're coming from. Sure. I do have to say, the warmth, like right here in my chest, is sticking around for quite some time. Oh yeah, this one with the higher proof. Yeah. You're going to get that that little more of a Kentucky hug there, mm -hmm. for sure. Can't wait till we go up another ten proof points. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Enough of that. Okay. Wow. It smells very different. That nose is like completely different. This one I'm getting like um, oak, caramel, and then mm -hmm. like a lot of floral. Like to me this is like a very floral scent. For me, I'm getting like the oak, the caramel, and then a lot of vanilla. Hmm, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Like and it's... To clarify, when I'm saying a floral scent, I don't mean like, oh, spritz, spritz, this is what lavender smells like. I mean like you're standing in the woods and like the vi like the wood violets are start starting to like produce flowers. Like it's the middle mm -hmm. of the spring or you're in like a field that just has like a bunch of wildflowers and it's like that earthy floral scent on the wind. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. That's so different. And it's interesting to me because this one... The C920 doesn't like um, have as much of an impact on my nose, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't like burn, burn. it quite. Mm -hmm. Where the other one that's a slightly lower proof, the A121 does a bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wonder why. It's interesting. Wonder why, Heaven Hill, why is it doing that? All right. Should I give it a sip? Yes. Now we've had this bottle open for a little while and it may, may have oxidized a little. Um, so if our notes are different from our last video, that could be why. <laughs> oh, that's very true. But I'm almost getting, I'm just going to take another sip. I get so much oak out of this one. Mm -hmm. Like for me, the flavor is just pretty much oak. I'm getting caramel, oak, 
And then this is where I'm saying my notes might be a little different because I'm actually eating mint now on this one. Are you? Yes. Very little mint. Mm. Like a bit of freshness at the end. Yep. I don't remember getting the first time. Still very good. Mm-hmm. If I think mint, I get mint. Mm-hmm. Does that ever happen to you guys? You like watch people and you're like, oh, they told me I should taste this. And then you do. Power of suggestion is totally there. But there's like that crispness at the end. I totally mm -hmm. get what you're saying. But yeah, both very good. The finish is not in my chest on this one. For this mm -hmm. one, the finish is like mostly on my tongue. Yep. Back of my tongue for me. Mm. Um, so this was the highest scoring bourbon that I've ever had on the channel. Really? The f first C920. And we sort of screwed up and forgot to like actually go over the score and mentioning that on the first video. <laughs> so I this vaguely is... <laughs> remember this. <laughs> vaguely in the back of my mind. Yes. Um, and I'm still, I don't think we need to go and score these each. No. Uh, completely. Um, but I'm going to say they're both very, very good. Stellar. In different ways. Yes. They're similar in some ways, but they're also different enough where you're going to enjoy each one a little bit differently because mm -hmm. they do have different notes. And that's one of like the fun parts too of Elijah mm -hmm. Craig because both of these, similar enough where you can tell it's the same company, but different enough where you actually want to buy each one of their releases if you mm -hmm. can. And again, Great pricing. Seventy to eighty dollars yeah. at most stores for barrel proof, twelve years, mm -hmm. unchilled, not filtered. Um, yeah, non-chilled filtered. I meant to non -chilled say non-chilled <laughs> filter. So it's I'm five cut. times fast. <laughs> See, for me, the C920, I enjoyed the nose a lot more on this one. Mm -hmm. But then I enjoyed the um, the taste. the taste okay. and the finish a little bit more on that one. But honestly. If you've never got um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, it's usually $70. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can go up to like 80, maybe 85 if it's a little high of a liquor store pricing. Mm -hmm. But it's such a good deal. Such a good deal for great flavor, great profile. And normally they're available, you can find them anywhere. If I'm trying to pick a winner here, I really can't. They're both mm -hmm. really good. <laughs> It's hard. It's like picking your favorite child. Well, actually, that's easy. It's me. But <laughs> if we're talking to my mom. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could pick between them. Maybe we should have done it blind. Maybe. But I liked not doing it blind. I really liked having, like, knowing which one was different and, like, comparing the two, looking at the label. You know what? I'm just going to say it. I would give it to a 121. I sort of like that fruity note that's mm -hmm. coming through with the caramel mm -hmm. and everything. I enjoy it. it. To me, it's a little more slightly complex mm -hmm. when this is like your, the C920 is like your very traditional bourbon mm -hmm. that tastes really good. I like that description of the two. Mm -hmm. They're both stellar. Yes. I feel like I've said that so many times. <laughs> like, what is there to say about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? Buy it. It's good. You'll like it. And if you're not ready for it, I mean, we made fun of about putting it over ice. You totally can. But it is very good over ice as well. It, I actually prefer it over like the normal Elisha Craig. Oh yeah. Over ice because it doesn't get watered down right away then. Yeah. See, that is the thing about like the really high proof bourbons too, or whiskeys. Like some of them, if you like, sometimes once you get to drinking bourbon enough. People kind of poo-poo putting it on ice. You do not have to be ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it brings out more of the flavor. And depending on how quickly you drink it, <laughs> it doesn't have to be watered down. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, and maybe just use filtered water yeah. instead of that is great tap advice. water. Because then Makes it won't the be impacting the taste of your bourbon. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Do we want to score the A121 or do we just want to... Give us I mean, the same score that we did for the C920. To me, it's like, I think I gave C920 8.5. I'm going to give this one 8.55. I like that. <laughs> Whatever I scored, I give it 0 0.05 more for me yes. too. Because really, guys, it is fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. 
Also, when we were in Louisville, we got the bottle of the A121 because we stopped in the downtown of the Evan Williams experience. Mm -hmm. We did not have a chance to actually do the experience just because with COVID, like there's limited booking and things like that. But even just stopping in at the gift store, like their hospitality and customer service was exceptional. The, the yeah. guy was so kind. He let us sample it even though he knew we were buying it. Yeah. And what else did he let us try? He let us try the Evan Williams, um, is it? 12 year? Either, no, I think it's even more than that. I thought it was the... 15 year? I honestly can't remember. Uh, it's probably 20. I, I thought, thought it was 12 old. year. No, at least this is 12. Um, hmm. Maybe That's it was a good 15. question. We'll put it in the comments below when we like research and yeah. find it. But they just let it, like the bottle itself was $130. Yep. Not this one. But the, the other bottle. And he let us just sample it for free. I mean, that was awesome. Yeah. And it was very good. Yeah. Um, but compared to this, this is 70 to 80. And it, it's more complex. It's crazy. Better than the... Yeah. <laughs> the value of this one, especially, like, I'd love to pull these into a blind or one of them. Mm -hmm. Because I really want to put it out there and be like, is it as good as we think it is? Yeah. I absolutely think it'll be a winner. Yeah, I definitely think we're going to have to do like that barrel proof. Barrel proof blind. Yes. Whether that's an episode or live stream, we'll get more news out. Soon Eric's for been you. pushing out that live stream, so I think that might be happening. <laughs> yes. Probably towards mid May. We'll probably throw Early that May, up. mid May, something yeah. like that. We'll give you all enough notice. Yeah, so you can join in on our live stream. Check our Instagram. Yeah. Babes of Bourbon. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's all we have, folks. Yes. I hope you have enjoyed our little comparison video. Um, in summary, both are amazing. Anytime you find it, you should buy it. Absolutely. And of course, subscribe, like, comment, share, and follow us on Instagram. Woo! <laughs> Thank well, you, guys. Thank you all. I hope you all have a great night. Bye! Bye.